This is the only video you need to watch if you want to take your video editing skills to the next level. I don't outsource my editing. I do everything myself using CapCut on my smartphone. Sometimes I keep it simple, other times I go all out. It really depends on the kind of video I'm working on. In this tutorial, I'll walk you step by step through how I edit videos on my phone. By the end of this video, you'll be able to edit like a pro. Whether you're a beginner or already experienced, there's definitely something here for you. So sit back, relax, and let's dive in. Here's what I'd love you to do. Grab a piece of paper to take notes, or if you have another device with you, head over to your App Store or Play Store and search for CapCut. Here it is, click on Install and it starts installing. It's free and available on both iOS and Android. So, what is CapCut? Well, it's a powerful editing app that lets you create professional quality videos directly from your phone or PC. And the best part? You can do so much for free. Of course, there are other editing tools out there like InShot, UCut, or Filmora, which I'll cover in future videos, so stay tuned. But for today's tutorial, I'm focusing on how to edit your videos in CapCut, completely free of charge. Now, I'm sure you already have your raw clips or footage that you want to work with, just like I have mine. These are my raw clips, and this is the project we'll be working on together today. So get your footage ready. Since you've already installed CapCut and prepared your clips, let me point something out. Most of the time, I prefer editing on my phone. Why? Because it lets me edit anywhere, on the go. I don't need to carry my laptop everywhere just to keep working on videos. And that's why this tutorial will be phone-based. But don't worry, everything I'll show you here works exactly the same on PC, so laptop users, you're covered. One important thing, please don't skip any part of this tutorial. Every single step I've shared so far and will continue sharing is essential if you want to edit videos smoothly, so pay close attention, okay? Great. Now that you've got your raw footage and the CapCut app ready, the very first step is importing and organizing your clips. Importing means taking your videos from your phone and bringing them into CapCut. Once they're in the app, it's time to organize them. Don't worry, I'll guide you through it. Open up your CapCut app. On the home screen, you'll see a bold plus new project button. Tap it. Make sure you select them in the exact order you want your video to flow. For example, I'll pick this one as my first option. So that's number one. Then I'll move to the next as number two. And after that, hit the add button to bring them into your workspace. And there you go. All your footage is now inside the app. If along the way you realize you want to add more clips, that's totally fine. Just scroll to the end of your timeline and tap the plus sign again. Or if you want to insert a clip in the middle of your video, scroll to the exact spot, hit plus, and import your file. Once your footage is imported and organized the way you want it, the next step is deciding on your aspect ratio. This is super important. When you come down to these icons here, scroll to the left and click on the aspect ratio icon. This will bring up the ratio box options. By default, it's set to original, but as you can see, there are different aspect ratios you can use depending on the project you're working on. For example, 916 is perfect for TikTok, YouTube shorts, or Instagram reels, while 169 is great for YouTube and other widescreen formats. So for this tutorial, since I'm creating a YouTube video, I'll switch over to 16.9. Now you'll notice something, because my video isn't in the right size for 16.9, you can see these blank spaces on the sides, which doesn't look good. If your video already matches the ratio, you can skip this step. The next step is to fix that with a background. So go over to the toolbar and click on background. This will open up several options. If you click on blur, you'll find different background options with various blur effects. You can simply click to choose any background and it instantly appears on your video. You'll notice how it makes your video look more appealing. But that's not all. You also have other exciting options to explore. Still under background, there's the image option. When you click on it, you'll see a wide selection of photos to choose from. 
For example, when I click on this one, you can see it instantly appear as the background. Pretty cool, right? There are plenty of choices here, and you can even customize by clicking on the Upload Photo icon to select from your gallery. Let me choose this one. You can see it instantly set as the background. Super easy. And that's not all. You also have the option to use colors. When you click on Colors, you'll see a whole range of shades you can apply. So many options to make your video stand out. All right, now let's move on to cutting and trimming. If you've made a mistake or there's a part of your clip you don't want, just drag this white line to the spot and click Edit. You'll see a few options pop up. Now select the area you want to cut out and hit Split. Boom! It automatically splits your clip. Next, just highlight the unwanted part and tap Delete. And it's gone. Super easy. Now let's talk about transitions. This is where your video starts to get that smooth, professional feel. Go to this white rectangle between your clips and click on it. You'll see a bunch of cool transitions to choose from. Let's test it out. Here's the video without any transition. Now let's add one. Maybe this one. You can see how it instantly makes the video look more dynamic and interesting. There are tons of them here, so go ahead and explore until you find your favorite. Next up, let's dive into Overlays. Head to your toolbar and click Overlays. This takes you straight to your gallery. I'll pick a short clip at random and tap Add. Now you can resize it, move it around, and position it wherever you want on your screen. You can also add animation to make it pop even more. Now let's spice it up. Go back to Animation and you'll see a variety of fun options. Let's pick a simple one, like Fade In. Nice and smooth. Let's preview that. Wow, see how it enters so seamlessly? Much better. You can also choose an out animation, basically how you want your clip to exit. Let's try this one out and preview. Beautiful. That clean exit adds a really nice touch. And for the combo animations, you can highlight your main clip, tap animation and toggle on combo. There are so many styles here. For my tutorials, I like to keep things simple, but let's pick one and test it out. Look at that. It flows in and out so nicely. Elegant, smooth, and professional. Now let's move on to audio. When you click on the audio option, you'll see several choices. First, we have extract. Tapping this lets you pull sound directly from any video in your gallery. Super useful when you want to reuse background audio or a favorite clip. Next, click on Sounds, and you'll be taken to a huge library of music and sound options to explore. When you toggle this little icon here, you can also extract audio from a video again. Quick and easy. If you switch over to Device, you'll see all the audio files stored on your phone. You can even type in the search bar to find exactly what you're looking for. There are so many amazing features here to explore. Now, let's check out sound effects. This is where the fun really begins. You'll find tons of interesting effects to bring your video to life. For example, here's a typing sound. Let's preview it. If you like it, just tap the plus icon to add it to your timeline, then drag it to position it exactly where you want. You can also use the search bar to find specific effects. Let's say I'm working on a project and I need the sound of footsteps. I'll just type walking sound, preview this one. Perfect. It sounds just like someone walking, which makes your video feel so real and immersive. And here's another cool feature. You can click on record to record your own audio directly. So nice and easy to use. Now let's check out the effects tab. When you click on it, you'll see a variety of options like video effects and body effects. Let's start with video effects. Once you click on it, you'll notice tons of creative effects you can use to make your video more eye-catching. Let's preview a few of them. See how each one instantly changes the mood of your video? It all depends on the style you want to go for. You can drag any effect to your timeline and adjust exactly where you want it to appear in your clip. Now let's move to the body effects. 
Here, you'll find even more fun options that track and enhance movement, perfect for adding that extra wow factor. These effects not only make your videos look cooler, but they also help you grab attention and get more views. Now, when you click on Add Text, you'll see a variety of beautiful templates you can work with, really cool options to make your video stand out. You'll also have access to tons of font styles, as you can see, different stylish fonts to choose from. And under Style, there's a lot more. You can play around with colors, adjust the size by dragging this slider up or down, and even tweak the opacity to get that perfect look. There are also text effects and animations. You can add an in animation for how your text appears, control the speed, and even set an out animation for how it exits. You can also loop it, super fun and creative. Now, when you click on Auto Captions, CapCut automatically generates different caption styles you can use, really handy and saves time. And don't forget the stickers. There are so many fun ones to explore, like subscribe buttons, arrows, emojis, and more. They're perfect for adding personality and engagement to your video. Finally, let's take our video from looking a little dull to bright, popping, and vibrant, just like this. <laughs> All right, head over here and tap on Adjust. You can explore some fun filters right here, or if you prefer a more custom look, just click on Adjust again to tweak it manually. You'll see different settings pop up. Let's go through a few. Increase your brightness just a little, add a bit of contrast, then sharpen, but don't go over 50. Boost clarity for that crisp finish, and finally, lower the temperature slightly to cool it down. Of course, it all depends on your style, so feel free to play around until it looks just right. And that's it. With these simple tweaks, you can edit your videos in CapCut like a pro and make them stand out beautifully. And once you're done with all the editing, just click Export. Select 1080p and Export. Simple. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials like this one. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. I'm always happy to help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.